Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Today I want to show you a kind of life hack or rather an improvisational method of building a high power current regulator. Basically, a current regulator is an electronic device that is capable of varying the voltage across a load in order to maintain constant current through the load regardless of its resistance. In principle, this could be done manually using a rheostat or other variable resistor in series with the load, as shown in this circuit schematic, but this approach is rarely practical in applications where a regulated current power supply is required. Normally, a regulated current power supply is constructed using transistors or other components to regulate the current flow, but at least from what I could find on a couple of online component distributors, solid state current regulators tend to get rather expensive as the power delivered to the load increases. Well, one day I happened to measure the resistance of a 500 watt halogen light bulb. It measured only 3.5 ohms, but since it is rated to dissipate 500 watts when connected to a 120 volt source, I can calculate that it draws a maximum of about 4.2 amps in use, implying that when running its resistance would be at least 28.6 ohms. This implies that the resistance of the lamp increases by at least a factor of 8 as the filament heats up to operating temperature. In other words, a halogen light bulb acts like a self-adjusting variable resistor. If negligible current is flowing, then its resistance is very low. But if the current increases, the filament heats up and the bulb's resistance increases, which limits the current flow. The halogen bulbs will readily handle 120 volts and are relatively indifferent to whether the applied voltage is AC or DC. So, while it might sound like kind of a hack approach, it really seems like a halogen work light wired in series would make a remarkably versatile and relatively inexpensive high power current regulator. To test this hypothesis, I wired a spare electrical outlet in series with the output of my 20 amp bridge rectifier. Now, if I short across the outlet so that it doesn't act as an open circuit, and then connect the output leads to a couple pieces of scrap metal and touch them together, I just get one quick spark and then the circuit breaker trips. If the breaker failed to trip, I would still just get one quick spark and then the rectifier diodes would overheat from drawing too much current and explode, interrupting the flow of current just as effectively if somewhat more destructively. However, if I plug my work light into the series connected outlet, it regulates the current to about 16 amps. So now, instead of tripping the breaker, I can strike sustainable electrical arcs on the scrap metal.
Now, this in itself may not be all that useful because 16 amps at 120 volts is not really a good combination for arc welding. Uh, most arc welders run at only 15 to 30 volts, uh, but deliver 100 to 150 amps, or potentially a lot more than that if you get into heavy-duty industrial applications. However, this does demonstrate that the work light is indeed functioning as a high-power current regulator, which in turn is something that might be useful for future projects. Until I get around to working on those projects, though, thanks for watching The Idahoan Show.